Welcome back to the show. You know my next guest tonight from Donnie and Marie and her five decades of performing on stage and screen. And now she's the newest host of The Talk. Please welcome Marie Osmond. so uh, sweet. Nice to meet you. It is nice so to meet fun you. to finally meet you. I have been watching you since I was a little boy and you were a little girl, I'm guessing. I'm glad you clarified exactly. that. Exactly. Yes. You were a little girl, yeah. <laughs> Me and uh, we used to, like I was saying backstage, we used to like act out things that you would do the on the show. A little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> In, in our, you know, in our little garage band when I was in elementary and school. And I heard you like to be me. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I had the wigs for it. I had the and wigs the for it. Um, <laughs> uh, you've been entertaining us since you were three years old. Now you've got a new gig as uh, one of the new hosts of uh, The Talk. The Talk. How's the first week going? Oh, my gosh. It is so fun. So I've, I've co-hosted for like nine years. Sure. Forty-something times. Yeah. And uh, the ladies, they're, they're the best, seriously. We can have different opinions, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, you just kind of get into this groove and you kind of mm -hmm. just talk whatever you feel. But it was interesting because the first week, um, the first show especially, I felt like some nerves. Even and I mean, I've been like 50 times before. Well, and I've been working, you know, a few decades. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I started getting like these butterflies. Mm -hmm. But, and I had to, after about 10 minutes, I'm like, Marie, stop it, you know, do what you do. And, but it was, to me, it's a good thing. Because when you lose that, I think you should move on to something else, don't you? I mean, it's just kind of sure, like. Sure, if you're not a little nervous, yeah. you're, not, you're not really trying. But yeah. not nervous from being there, just kind of like excited. Mm -hmm. I love, it's kind of like a new chapter mm -hmm. in my book. And um, very honored that CBS would pick me. <laughs> well, you're one of uh, nine. Nine Co kids. Co-hosts? I'm, yeah, no, I'm you're, kidding. Yeah. You're, you're one of nine kids. Where do you fall in the nine? I am next to the youngest. You're next one. To youngest. Of, you're I'm one the youngest. Of, I'm the youngest the, of eleven. Of eleven. Yeah. And I, I, I like to do this with uh, people who have a lot of kids in their family. Can uh -huh. you? Can you? How fast can you say them from the top? You want to race me? Siblings? Yes, yeah, sibling. You want to say them from the top down? Can Done. You, ready? Burl oh, ready? One, two, three. Jimmy, Burl, Eddie, Tom, Alloway, Mel, Mel, Jay, Jay Donnie, Marie, Jimmy. Steven. Okay. But here's the thing. That's here's, a sibling. That is. You're the only girl among these eight other boys. I am. Which was, you must have had a few fights when you were a kid. <laughs> you had to learn to speak up, obviously. What, which is harder, yeah. arguing with eight brothers or four co-hosts? <laughs> well, men only listen to half of what you say. So I won every time there, <laughs> and uh, and we uh, don't fight on the talk. Actually, okay. <laughs> it's actually pleasant. Okay. Make your lunch date around it. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear half of that. But, um, <laughs> well, this is something I just found out. Uh, you, you, everybody knows you got a Las Vegas residency with your brother Donnie. Yes. How's Donnie doing? He's good. Give He's him good. my best. Will you? Give Would you want to work with your sibling for eleven years? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sure, I just can't pick which, which one? one. I can't pick which <laughs> one. They'll get mad out there. Get mad out there. No, it's crazy. We were supposed to be there six weeks, and it have, has evolved to eleven years. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. And we finally, well, at year ten, we were like, okay, let's move on to something else because the show is. We've been very blessed, like best show, best uh, band, performers, dancers, whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we, I looked at him at the tenth year, and I said, did you ever watch Spinal Tap? Sure. Okay. Sure. And I looked at him. I said, "Let's go to 11 because it's one more," <laughs> and that's the truth. Well, so but, we went to 11. But it's going to end. <laughs> it's ending in November. Yes. Uh, by then, you will have performed. It says here more shows on the Strip than Elvis and Celine Dion combined. Isn't that crazy? Uh, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> yes. Why stop? Why stop now? You're hitting your stride. Why stop now? Um, because I'm on the talk. Oh, so you have. <laughs> You have a full-time <laughs> gig. How's Donnie handling you walking out on it? <laughs> well, I've done it a couple times. All right. <laughs> we, <laughs> we both, you know, he wants to do some things. We, 
we love our separate mm -hmm. uh, careers besides uh, sure. working together, and it's been really fun. I've I've loved it. It is fun to go to work with your sibling. How many shows a week do you guys do? Five. Five five nights a week. Uh -huh. Okay. How do you unwind uh, after a show? What do you do to sort of? You're in an exciting city, Vegas. Like truth. Truth. No, <laughs> honest to God, I will shoot me straight. Oh, it's so boring. Um, so I I like to uh, clean. <laughs> You I go, go home, home and clean, clean the house. Wow. It's very, it's soothing. So when I was a young girl and uh, the Donnie and Marie show was like dubbed into 17 languages sure. and it was worldwide and I thought I was pretty cool. Yeah, sure. <laughs> As a 16 year old. And um, I was, I was kind of like the, for the young people, I was kind of like the Selena Gomez of whatever that era. Sure. And, <laughs> sure. and so I, um, I went home one night and we had to memorize like, 350 pages of script in two and a half days and do our schooling and learn everything and um, I walked in and my mom said you need to do your chores and it had been like a 16 hour day mm -hmm. and she looks at me and says well you haven't done your chores and I went oh, mother <laughs> I'm me <laughs> and she goes, I have to look good tomorrow you know and she goes really and uh, I said well yeah I mean we're taping I have to get my rest and she goes Oh, okay. Well, instead of just doing the kitchen, now you can do the toilets, too. Wow. And uh, I learned very quickly that uh, this was a job, mm -hmm. and then there was reality. Yes. <laughs> did you pass that form of mothering down? To my children? Yeah, did they do the toilets, too? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, good. They, I, I have a housekeeper that helps me, but yes. she never does their room. Good. And they go, well, why? And I said, because I had to clean the toilets. <laughs> It's, it's, it builds character. It, does. it puts hair on your chest. Um, thank you so much for being oh, here. Oh, so fun so to be here. So lovely to meet you. We'll be it's seeing you on The Talk. The Talk airs weekdays here on CBS. The young lady is Marie Osmond, everybody. <laughs> we'll be right back.